Hi there, I'm Kristen from Jimmy Bean's Wool and I have here with me, I'm so excited, a Knitbot trunk show. Um, just arrived yesterday. I couldn't be more stoked to see some of these designs in pattern er, some of these designs in person because they are really beautiful. Like this contented cardigan that I am wearing. Very pretty. I love the little back detailing. And I love the way that the shape kind of comes out and it's triangular and it kind of drapes. It's really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to leave this on for a little bit while I show you the other designs. Um, this is the Sycamore Vest, which I think is really super cute. Also has a nice drapey front. You could easily layer this over, you know, a long sleeve shirt and leggings or jeans and with boots. I think it'd be really cute. Um, has a really neat little kind of patterning in the the ribbing there, which is really nice. Um, also, the lightweight pullover. This is done in Classic Elite Fresco, which is a yarn that we carry. This the yarn is really, really fuzzy and super, super soft. Um, but has a really nice. This has a nice little kind of cowl turtleneck on it. It's not too big. It's just kind of, kind of schmoopy right here. Like I don't know what do you call that droopy. I don't know, something. It's cowl -y, I guess, but it's not tied on your neck like a turtleneck would normally be. So that's what I really like about this design. I think it's, plus it's really simple. It's top down, seamless. You can just knit that um, as a first sweater and it'd be a really great first sweater knit. Um, also, I've got the sock weight sweater. I think that's what this one's called. Sock yarn sweater, yeah, and there's also actually a little baby version that goes with this too. So there's the adult version, which is really beautiful, simple, simple knit as well, um, with a nice little, nice little boat neck, and then the cute little baby version, which is also awesome. And I think both of these are knit in the Malabrigo sock yarn, um, which really nice. So that's a really great sweater as well. If you want to start knitting on a finer gauge, that would be an awesome lightweight sweater. This is the calligraphy cardigan, which is looks like the coziest cardigan ever <laughs> to wear. Just super, super kind of long and a nice DK weight. Um, yep, and this one is knit in the Madeline Tosh Tosh DK, so it's a really nice kind of a, a lighter weight cardigan, but still kind of wears like a, you know, like your grandpa's favorite cardigan sort of thing. You know, it just has a really nice look to it. I really like that cardigan a lot. Um, and then we've also got the yoked cardigan, which is a cute little cropped cardigan. This one is beautiful. It's done in the Fiber Company's Terra yarn, which we carry. And then, to go with it, there's also the little baby version. It's so cute. I want that. Uh, Jeannie just popped in and said, I want that. Do you want the sweater or the baby? Or both? Both. Okay, Aww. Both. Aww. <laughs> yeah, isn't that adorable? It's knit in the Fiber Company Terra, which is really stunning, gorgeous yarn to work with. So, actually, both of these versions are done in the Fiber Company so Terra. Now that's the adult. I'm sorry. It's okay, I actually. And I think this is a two in one pattern. I think you get the baby and the adult version in the same one. pattern. Oh, you bought yeah. that pattern. Yeah, I didn't bought you? this pattern. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, super cute. Um, this one, actually, a couple of us here at the shop have knit this one. This is the. Um, uh, now why am I blanking? This one is the effortless cardigan. So this is done in a DK weight yarn. It's a really, really nice cardigan. It's got a great drape to the front. Um, I think both Leanne and Victoria yes, have knit this one. Absolutely. And they really loved the pattern. It was a really easy quick knit. Um, on a DK weight, so really not too bad. You've got like size six, five or six needles, so it's really nice. Um, I think this is the wispy cardigan. Oh, that's cute. I was looking at that on Ravelry. Yeah, I actually have this pattern too. <laughs> um, I don't. Many of you might remember the Whisper cardigan, which was one of Hannah's first designs that she did for was in uh, Interweave Knits, like fall three years ago or something, and. Um, I just loved that design from the get-go and then she revamped it last year so of course I had to buy that too because I really like the way that she did the shaping on the sleeves this time. This one is done in a fingering weight which is what I would probably do and then this is the lace weight version done in Malabrigo lace which I mean it's like so airy and light. It's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Really really cute. 
And I mean, it's really more like a shrug. It definitely wears more like a shrug. You don't have any coverage in the front. You just have, um, you know, just this little round piece here and then a little bit of a drapey side piece on the front. So it kind of gives you just a little more coverage in the, the waist area, but not as much in the bust area. So it's a really cute little, little easy cardigan to, to make to wear over dresses or just like, you know, tank tops in the summertime, really nice and light, super cute cardigan. I'm going to be making that one soon. Mm. I actually bought yarn for it and everything. It's just sitting in my stash at home. Oh, I forgot we got this. I'm so glad I walked by. I know. Hey, you want to come on camera with me? Well, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Welcome, Jeannie, everybody. Oh, Jeannie. Hannah, we love you. Yeah, we love you, Hannah. Um, thank you for sending your, your uh, trunk show because we're really excited to see all these pieces oh, in person. No. So this is Hannah's most popular cardigan pattern. This is the featherweight cardigan. Terry's knitting that or has finished? I think she's knitting it. I don't think she's finished it yet. She's yeah. doing it in the Madeline Tosh Prairie yarn. It's um, this is a fingering weight version. What I love about Hannah's patterns is the she uses most of them. She uses a lace weight on a larger needle, so you can easily oh. achieve the same gauge with a fingering weight. And that's what I, I just love about it because I prefer working with fingering weight yarn. I'm not really much of a lace weight person, so for me, right. I love that I can kind of switch it up a little bit with her well, patterns and like make them. It's calling for a five. Yeah. 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 That's a great place to start. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is the featherweight cardigan, which is, again, a really nice piece. This one has a little more coverage than the wispy, so if you're looking for something that um, is maybe that light and that size, but maybe more coverage in the front, this is the way to go. The featherweight's a really great cardigan for you. Mm -hmm. um, this is a new one, new-ish one. This is just a recently revamped one. This was also, this is the lettuce Ooh. cardigan. And I think, or cardigan sweater, lettuce pullover. Oh, I need to know. Oh, this. framed pullover. I, need I lied. To this. The original version was the lettuce one. This was uh, in the knit scene. Um, they did a, a special edition on Hannah, and this was one of her designs about two years ago now. Yeah. And I think she just reworked this exact design, and it's now called the framed pullover. So this is really pretty. I love this bright color. I could see Leanne wearing this. Could oh, you? I could. Yeah. So could. And look at this this neat collar. I have to yeah. knit this. If it would fit me, I would just, oh, no. Yeah. It won't. I'm too, but Leanne, it would fit her. So it we would. better watch it. Yes, I know. We better guard it. Yes. But anyway, really cute cardigan. Or car I keep saying cardigan, but I mean pullover. What is the problem? <laughs> This is what happens when you get on camera. You lose your words. Uh, your she, does okay. she does okay. <laughs> Rectangles, triangles. <laughs> I know. I called a, a rectangle a triangle earlier. Oh, well, it it probably was once. I, it, At some point. It could have been. Could have been. Right. It's I mean. true. This is the medium weight pullover, and I love, I love this one, too. I think this is done in the um, Fiber Company Organic, which we don't carry, but we've got plenty of great suggestions for substitutes, oh, so definitely uh, let us know. What a nice drape to the mm -hmm. collar. The collar mm -hmm. actually is a wonderful drape. I tried this on yesterday, and it really fit well. The only thing is I'd probably add an inch or two to the body, right. as usual. She's so tall. <laughs> But yeah, it's really, really be a beautiful sweater, and I like. I think this is a great weight for a pullover. Like it's right. for winter, especially here because it doesn't get that hot, but or, or that cold. But it's um, it's just a really great weight. One, it would be neat to layer it with long sleeves yeah. and you know tails. Exactly. And, yeah. Yeah. Really cute. Pullover. It is cute. And again, it's a really simple design. So you could really, if you're looking for a first sweater project, this is a good one because it's got the basics, but not too much more than that. And that's why Hannah's designs are really... They're really yeah. basic and nice, but you can add such neat details. And I love, we just took a class in sweaters and mm -hmm. sweaters. Love this increase here. Yeah, this is yeah, great. That's very so nice. this, is, um, this is the contented cardigan. This is the one that I'm wearing, actually. Um, just a different version and a smaller size because this one wouldn't fit me. Um, this is in the Classic Elite Inca Alpaca, which we don't carry, but we have a similar yarn, so we can tell you which one to use instead. Oh, I love this um, detail on the Gorgeous. Back. Yeah, the back is really pretty. I don't know if you can really get a close-up on that and see the little bit of <laughs> detailing. I don't know if it's really shaping it so much as it is detailing, but it sort of subtly shapes it as well in the back. Um, Oh, oh it's Hannah, really you pretty. Rock. 
And we then have a big fan cup here. Yes, definitely. Yes. And then lastly, we have the trail jacket, which Sandy is actually knitting right now. She is. Mm -hmm. She's knitting. This is her sweater project from that class. I know she is. She brought in show and tell. She did. Um, this is knit in a yarn we don't carry again. This, I believe, is Quince and Company. It's their one of their heavier yarns. But we've got again, mm -hmm. we've got similar yarns that um, we can recommend for you. We have this pattern here. It's a newer one. It's really adorable. I love how she's adorned it with a little bird. And um, it's just really, really cute. It's a nice bulky weight um, sweater, but you could easily layer it and wear it. In fact, that's what Sandy said she's going to do. She's going to make this her warehouse jacket. So when she's working and pulling all of your orders, she can be nice and toasty warm. Because right. our warehouse is a little bit on the cool side some days. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but not too bad. It's just, you know. Well, she moves like grease lightning. So it's true. She's probably pretty warm. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a really, a really cute little design by her as well. And again, seamless top down. That's why I love her patterns. Oh, look at this there. garter stitch color. Mm -hmm. Oh, no wonder Sandy's do Sandy! I know. The garter <laughs> stitch is awesome. It's probably my favorite as well. So Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, fun stuff. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the Knitbot Trunk Show. Uh, we're really excited to have it here. We'll be sending it away soon, but that's okay. Um, you'll be able to knit one of these yourselves. So have fun and happy knitting. Thanks have so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night